G'day guys, this is Tia, and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. Firstly, I just want to thank you all for the amazing show of support on my previous video. If you don't know, I will be posting a lot less regularly. But anyways, that's not why you're here. Let's get straight into the purpose of this video. So basically, the end game raid boss Earl Williams has finally made his way to consoles after many, many delays. And I have avoided fighting this beast on PC or encountering him at all in person so that I could make these series of videos. Because right here and now, you will all be experiencing firsthand with me the raw effectiveness of all of my main builds. My stealth commando, my heavy gunner, the melee, my shotgunner, and my pistol characters. They will all have their own dedicated videos, this one is purely for my stealth commando build. In this video, I will be completely solo and without buffs or chems against the now newest and toughest enemy in Fallout 76, Earl Williams. Anyways, this will be absolutely mental and infuriating. I know for a few reasons, but the main one being Earl Williams has a flat out 90% damage reduction decrease to all forms of damage we could possibly inflict onto him. Meaning in short our weapons will be a lot weaker than we are used to. The Scorch Beast Queen has a similar effect, however hers is only 70%, so this is a major step up in difficulty. Although the only saving grace for this boss is that we don't have to worry about the cunt flying around and waiting for him to land. Also we can cripple his limbs. Amazing. Anyways, let's kick this off. This is my stealth commando, Rainer. Friendly reminder that links to all of these builds that I will show will be in the description or in the top right corner. So, let's get started. Alright, g'day guys. Here I am with my stealth commando. Firstly, I'm just going to show you guys how to actually place the nuke properly. That'll give you enough space to actually get in the mine without killing yourself due to radiation. Here's Monongo Mine all the way up here. What we want to do is just place it around the sunny top station, a little bit lower than that. See where my marker is? Right in the middle of this crosshair right here next to the road. That is pretty much the perfect spot to place that nuke for this event. This will allow you to not be in the radiation as you fast travel to it, and so that when you actually walk into the mine itself, you're not so irradiated. And the reason we always place it over there, over that grid, is as you can see right here, I'm just outside the nuke zone, standing right here at the edge of this house is just fine. Right there where that rock is is where we need to go, so spending as least amount of time as possible in the nuke zone is definitely what we're going for here with this nuke placement, and it still allows you to fast travel here which will spawn you around over there. So here we are inside the mine as we wait for the event to actually start, I'll just go over the build. You all know my amazing armor. What I'm wearing right now, just go through that quickly. Chest piece, left arm, left leg, right arm, right leg. I will be using the B2525 fixer, and this is my build. All of this uh, in detail is linked below in the description. I've got a video covering it all, so feel free to check that out. Alright, so here we go, my first ever attempt at all fighting this thing. Solo as well. <laughs> I've never fought it before at all. Let's see how we go. And not the worst. Getting through that pretty easy, actually. Stay out of the light. Have my AP to regen. Just gotta make sure I dodge his fucking little little loogies. Oh, he's standing over that DOT fountain. Holy fuck! No, no, no! Step back. Oh, almost had it. Holy shit! That was a clutch stint back. You fucking beauty! I did it! <laughs> I don't know how long that took. Holy shit. Sure, let's take all this crap. Fucking... Where do I go, cunt? Where the fuck do I go? Fuck all you little things. Oh, this way. Oh, DOT fountain. 
Oh fuck, I almost died from it. <laughs> Holy shit. I feel like the biggest danger is these fucking things. Jesus Christ. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> well then. Fuck my life, I didn't even get to... Oh well, I guess I've got to go back in... No. What happens if I die in there? Does it not... Does it not let me escape the mine? Let's go fast forward this bit. Hmm. Okay, it did. It did work. Thank fuck. <laughs> Alright, well there we go. This was my effects as well, I forgot to show that. No buffs at all, just purely my build. And that was my first ever attempt at it. First ever, ever attempt at it. Ooh, I got the Cursed Harpoon Gun. Hell yeah. Yama. Fuck yeah. I didn't get detected by him once. I didn't get hurt by him once. I got hurt by some DOT fountain. Damage over time fountain, but... Fuck yeah! First ever attempt on the Stealth Commando, that went well. So, ladies and gentlemen, that went very, very well. That was actually my first ever encounter with Earl Williams. I have never fought him before or anything before filming this video, and it's safe to say I did pretty fucking well. I didn't get detected or killed once, which is amazing. So yes, it seems that it took me roughly a minute and ten seconds to kill the beast, which is not bad at all. Great for a first ever attempt. I'm sure if I popped all of the buffs and chems, I could melt him in under 30, maybe 20 seconds, but for now, this is what I'm content with. A reminder that I will be posting my very first fight with Earl on my Heavy Gunner character tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that. Anyways, I would just like to announce that I do now have a Patreon set up. It offers the same perks and prices as my YouTube channel membership program. You are by no means obligated to use this. This is just purely just there as an added option to support me and the channel. Speaking of which, without me even sharing the fact I have a Patreon, old mate Bill Sharp found it and decided to pledge at the Aesir rank. So, <laughs> thank you very much mate, I appreciate it. You just decided to pledge without me even announcing it. <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> also, a massive shout out to all of my current channel members as well. You all help fuel the content I produce. But, anyways guys and gals, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. And if this is your first time here, feel free to drop a subscription. I've been Tia. Catch us in the next one. Welcome to Valhalla.